Are you all wet, Miggy? <laughs> Happy Tuesday. Miggy just got a bath. Miggy just got a bath. Look what, look what you're doing to the pillows. He's getting groomed today, and Magnum's getting groomed today. Yes. So I'm gonna let him run around here. Oh, I hope my door's shut. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> You can't go on my bed, Mickey. Where did he go? Thank goodness I remembered to shut my door. Oh, he's over here now. <laughs> Gonna get the couch all wet? <laughs> yes, I've already groomed Milo and Mozzie on Sunday. And I should have groomed Miggy and Magnum yesterday, but... I just didn't feel like, what's he doing, Merlin? Is he acting crazy? Is he acting crazy, Merlin? <laughs> yeah, so now I've got to do him today. And I've got to get um, moving here. It's already, I think it's already 11. i got to get moving because we got to vote today, guys. I don't know if you got to vote in your state, but we got to vote here. So, um, all right, let me get this party started. What are you doing, Merlin? What are you doing? <laughs> you getting wrapped up in the schnauzer bed? Huh? Watching birdies? He's just as silly as the dogs. Yes, he is. Remember when Magnum used to always go under the pillows and sleep? <laughs> he don't really do that anymore. But now the kitty likes to get under the pillows. Merlin, Merlin, you're so cute too. All right, Miggy's all blow dried. So I thought before I started grooming them, what are you doing? Do you want to get groomed? <laughs> Why are you on the grooming table? <laughs> thought I'd share, um, since I have a lot of new subscribers, the table I use. Um, I got it on Amazon and it's by Go Pet Club. It's linked in our Amazon store down below too. It's a little short for me because I'm tall. I'm almost 5'9". So I have it sitting on the bed risers to lift the table up. Um, and the table's sturdy on there. Um, I also purchased this little caddy that goes on the grooming arm. Uh, the grooming arm comes with the table but I have different, um, what are these called? Grooming loops. This is, let me get it. This is called a haunch holder. So one goes under the belly area, this longer one here, and then this one goes around the neck to hold them in place. If you have a dog that likes to sit down a lot when you're grooming them and move around. Um, so that's purchased separate. This just comes with a basic grooming loop. And then this piece that's on the arm is separate too and this holds brushes, scissors, and different things you need um, readily available. Cause I noticed before I had that, I would constantly sit all my tools on the table and they'd fall off, they'd get all hairy. Um, that just keeps them up and out of the way. And then my clipper is um, Andis Ultra Edge. I really like this clipper. It's besides the wall um, home kit you can get at Walmart. This is the only other um, clipper I've used. Um, this is a very nice professional. It comes with a great, long, heavy duty cord. It's a two speed. Uh, you can take the blades off pretty easily. Sorry, I'm trying to do this one hand and switch blades out really quickly. Um, I really like that. And I usually use mainly a number 10 blade uh, for the length I like on the boys. I also have some clipper oil, um, like I said, different brushes and combs. I have this little wall peanut, forgot about this, my little trimmer for around like the paws and the butt area. Um, I have a little uh, Dremel pet uh, tool for after I cut their toenails with Oh, where are they? Oh, they're up here. They're up here in my little caddy. 
Uh, these little toenail clippers, I like to uh, smooth the end of the toenail, the rough edges after you clip them. With this, I have some um, stick tip powder in case you cut the quick when you're cutting their toenails. I've done it twice in all these years. Um, and this stops the bleeding quick. Um, and then I have, oh, these are some little kitty toenail trimmers, which I don't even use. I don't know why they're in there. I use toenail clippers on Merlin and Kitten way easier. And then I have an assortment of, um, I have another couple other blades, um, assortment of scissors. This is to clean out, clean the clipper. Um, get all the hair out of it when I'm done grooming. And then I have, what else do I have in here? I have a mister. Uh, if I need to wet down the beard a little bit, that mister makes it so it's not sopping wet, just barely mists it. Um, so I can trim their beards really good. Are you almost ready to get groomed? But that's basically what I use. I do have a professional hair dryer, but right now I'm just using this one. Since I don't have, I'm out here in my laundry room. Um, since I don't have a dedicated grooming room, I don't usually pull that out. But once I have a dedicated grooming room, um, I'll have that set up and have my professional um, dryer for the boys too. Yes, I know some people said they don't even look like they need to be groomed, <laughs> but I like them short, especially in the summer because they're, like you see in videos, they're rolling around in the grass, getting stinky, and it's so much easier to clean them and they dry so much faster if their hair's short. So let me get this kitty off of my kitty. Kitty, what? I just didn't want him knocking all my Tide Pods over. You're gonna go up there and hunt in the windows? Look for birdies? <laughs> the dogs and the cat love all the big windows in this house, let me tell you. Okay, I gotta get busy. Um, like I said, most of my um, grooming supplies are linked in our Amazon store uh, down below this video. Okay, let's see if I can do this one-handed so I can show you guys how much hair will actually come off him since a lot of people said he's not even that long. <laughs> So see, he's got a quite a bit of hair on him, even though it don't look like it on video. Yes. And what I like about the number 10 blade is that it doesn't, some people get their schnauzers groomed and it looks like they're all the way down to the skin. This still, as you can see, number 10 blade still leaves quite a bit of hair. It's not going to, um, so if this blade does get warm, it's not going to burn his skin. Um, I know a lot of people, when they get their schnauzers cut, they go way too short, and then their dog's skin is irritated. So see, he did need to be shaved down. He's got quite a bit of hair on him, even though, it's kind of hard to do one-handed holding the camera, even though uh, it doesn't look like it in videos. Yeah, so we're going to get him. There's all the hair, just from those couple swipes. We're going to get you looking handsome, Mi Miggy. He's like, yeah, shut up. <laughs> He's like, yeah, shut up. I am going to, um, I left some hair on, um, Milo and Mozzie's legs. I just, um, mostly scissor cut it. So I'm not going to cut their legs really short. I'm not going to use the clipper on them. So, yeah. So let's get this done, Miggy. Let's get this done and over with, right? So you can play. All right. It's break time. Look at all that hair. Look at all that hair. Yeah, Miggy, time for a break, Miggy. Go outside. All right. <laughs> Go outside. Time for, look at this. Kitty. Miggy's all done. I just got to clip his toenails. But the grooming part is done. Miggy, you're looking so handsome. 
You're looking so handsome. <laughs> I just scissor cut the legs. I'm not the best at it. I did shave down through here and then down here and then I scissor cut this and then down here. Yeah, I'm not the best at it, but hey. You're not show dogs, you're just home, you're home dogs. Yes, you're home dogs, family dogs, right? I think you look handsome though, yes. He's like, get me down, please. Get my toe done, toenails done and get me down. All right, guys, I'm gonna end the video here. Just wanted to remind anybody who may not have seen our video yesterday on Monday, um, there's a giveaway for a wall home clipper set and toenail clippers. So make sure you watch that and follow the rules and enter that giveaway. All right, guys, talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye.